Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, RSF1's F5 division. We're here at the British Grand Prix, the legendary track of Silverstone, once again uh, for league racing tonight. My name is RSF from Brundle. I am back. Hello. Uh, I will be joined by someone else very shortly, but uh, let's get Q1 underway. An album is going to be one of the first to venture out onto the track on the soft tyres. So, uh, good evening, everybody. Hopefully you can enjoy tonight's racing. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Right, so... Away goes Alban. Who else is going to come out now? Bottler as well. Ah, so... A few... Uh, changes here so a few little bit of news i want to give you from uh about f5 so we got kenzie retro who would not be racing with us tonight he has a race ban he was in the Renault. uh plus this used to be c Cyril clark so he's now called rsf1 bottler do not know why he probably has a reason why as to um why he's changed that i do not know but anyway that's used to be c Cyril clark so there you go. Uh, top notch, hello. You there, top notch? You right? Okay, is any right? You there? Hello. Hi, buddy. Have you included your audio? Yep. Yeah, that's all good. Right, just uh, give me a, give me a couple of minutes. Just uh, and never mind. They got the message right. Hello. Uh, we're doing this again. Top notch. Yeah, I'm you for this one, mate. Yeah, uh, double duty for both of us, but no problem, because we like doing this, so no problem at all. Right, so Album is going to be one of the first to set a lot. Oh, he's already invalidated. Um, great start. Uh, who is next? Looks like uh, Williams by the looks of it. Military virus, here we go. Begins his lap. Eighteen races here tonight, so all good stuff. Uh, good turnout once again from Formula Five. Um, have you watched the last few weeks of F Five Top Notch? Yeah, I've, I have caught up with them, mate. Okay, and obviously it looks looks like uh, Kazzy Babe, kind of similar to um, what we've had in F Four with Kid Cudi. Uh, he's not as controlled as Kid Cudi, but he's. Uh, being consistent as he possibly can, isn't he? He's obviously one last time out in um, Austria, I believe. So, uh, yeah, he's looking to continue on. But you've got the racing point of Timonike, the the meme king himself, also challenging. But there are other, obviously other names here. We've had a Button winning a race before. Um, who else is up there? You've got Albon, you've got Cosmic Cameron showing the pace, but... Um, is that military virus Jay Locker? Who? Oh, Jay Locker, obviously. He's the unluckiest person of the whole um, league, I think, actually. But yeah, there's a few names here, top notch, so it should be quite exciting. Yeah, with a new name. I don't know if you said about uh, Brave Container racing tonight. Uh, with a new name. Uh, I believe he raced in Austria last week. Did he race in Austria? Yeah. I know uh, Brave was pretty consistent, so. We can do around Silverstone. I believe that'll be a lot of these guys' home tracks tonight. So what a good one. I know it's like uh, the same as F4, mate, with, you know, uh, some unlucky drivers. Uh, same as F2, you know, um, some unlucky drivers flying there. Uh, looking to probably get a little bit of redemption. Yeah. Tonight. 
yeah, obviously a few want, still want to get their season kind of on track, really. Uh, here comes Rebster, 29-7 uh, from him. Had a difficult race last time at Austria, didn't even make turn one, so be looking to uh, have a good race here tonight in the Toro Rosso. Uh, but current, currently, Military Virus is quickest on the 28-7. He missed uh, Austria last week, so he'll be looking to get back on track with his championship at the moment. Album behind him on a 29-1. Um, what time are we expecting in terms of pole? Is Eagle hit, say, 28-6 in the McLaren there? Are we expecting 27s to pole for uh, pole top-notch? I think they'd be getting near, yeah, near that region. Maybe in the high 27s, maybe in the medium 27s. I can hook up a really good lap right there. Yeah, should be good. Uh, what about cutoff point for Q2? I'm thinking probably mid-29 by the looks of it. Oh, most definitely, yeah. In, yeah, they're going to have to get in mid-29, maybe low 29s to make it through. It's a very hard track as well in the front. Be, <clears throat> you make a mistake here. Oh! As you say that, blitz stick. Yeah. One of the well, uh, Renaults. One of the corners I was about to say, and then the corners thereafter, basically. Maggots, Beckett's, they're all really hard corners to go through and get it right. Yeah, old turn one. Blitzstick, I believe, is a reserve, and he's uh, reserving for um, Kenzie Retro, who, as I said, has a race ban for this race, so a bit of a rough time for the Blitzstick. Yeah, should out be able to get together. Though. Yeah, should be alright. Uh, well, we have time here. Uh, Alonso's just got a 29-1 in the Alpha. I'll go through the championship table, which I've got up right now. So, Kazi Babe leads the way 100, 118 points. Uh, Tim and Ike second on 101, so he can take the championship lead away from Kazi if Kazi has a difficult race. Third place is Military Virus on 76 points. Just behind is Lauda, 75. Eagle, 74. Uh, Button is sit from 62, followed by Tim on 59. Jay Locker on 52. RSF1 Butler, who uh, used to be CCR Clark, by the way, top notch. Right. That's uh, now RSF1 Butler. Yeah, that was going to be my uh, question. <laughs> yeah, 33 points for him. Zombie Head, 29. Alonso is on 22 with his ultimate rival, Rebster, on 20 right behind him. Uh, then we have RSF on Alban 18, Overgum Wolf and 16, Cosmic Cameron 12, Fistix 3, Blitzstick 2, Rogers Rascals 1, Matt Jason 1, and that is all your scorers so far. Very close. Very close. Yeah, a few people have had an up and down. Alonzo 28 6. Hello. Hello, Hello Mr. Alpha Driver. Hmm. Oh, beaten by a container. 28 2 in the Haas there. Brave is still the reserve driver in F5 currently, but they're yeah, looking good. Bottler, 28 0. Yeah, time is um, starting to get time's faster. coming down top notch. Very close to that 27 mark. Good lap from Bottler in the Mercedes. Of course, hope everybody is uh, relatively safe in this uh, uh, time that we are living in the moment. Of course, most of the UK is in, or pretty much all of the UK is in lockdown. No, barely anybody's working. Um, so hopefully we can provide a good race here tonight. Again, hope everybody is safe and well and everybody in their family as well. So yeah, keep it on. We will get through this. We will still provide the racing and the uh the stream so yeah get involved we'll be fine uh right let's go up the chat so 17 viewers so far if you want to say hello uh give us any comments etc um who you're cheering on so on and so robert forth just said uh evening brundle any roberts right eagles just gone to 28.3 again right so who's in trouble uh, Button, interestingly, tried to set a lap on the hard tyres there, top notch. Um, yeah, just trying to save tyres, but at the same time, just get on those soft tyres and just get through. 
in this key just to get a lap in really. So we'll just track every practice I've done. I just really want to get a lap in and then work on that. Play a time in Q1, so. Mm. so Obviously we did have in a... Lap, yeah. yeah. Now obviously we did have a few uh, problems from the F1 stream last night, if those that were watching, if those that didn't, we had basically a, a lobby breakdown halfway throughout the race, uh, which was such a shame because it was building up to a very interesting race. Um, I believe, I don't, I can't really say what the official decision on that race, whether we're rerunning it or what, or whatever, but fingers crossed we can have a good race here tonight and not have any issues. Container and Butler. Container and Butler both retiring in the pits. Uh, safe and sound, no problem. Timber coming through the end of the Magnus and Beckett session, a minute 4.6. Purple Sector 2, it comes up now. I've been watching the Purple uh, Sector things in the past three races. I don't think they're accurate. Because I've seen, for example, I saw somebody went Purple Middle Sector. Um, last night, and then they were like eight tenths off the leader, so I'm not sure. And the same with Timmer, is he like he's a second off Motley? Goes P9 on the 29 flat, so it's a good lap from Timmer. But he went purple sector two, and then was quite a way off. I'm not sure at the moment, I'm a, I'm a bit skeptical about the uh, about it there. Oh, it's Albon! Oh, hello! It's on a full 360 out of um, onto the hangar straight there. Got it, got it going again, but a bit of a moment. As here comes louder on a 29 flat, goes P8. Might be safe. I have to keep a look on now. And obviously, I've got to say uh, thank you very much for stepping in to commentate with me, uh, Top Notch. No, that's all right, mate. That's unfortunate that I've, uh, that's over. Uh... Set of batteries, you know, unfortunate. Easily done now. So, so many, so many issues. It was meant to be um, me and Countdown to Crash, uh, because Countdown to Crash is actually going to be your uh, or F5 streamer from now on, uh, potentially. So he, I was going to kind of show him the ropes, uh, but he's had a power cut, and that won't be on until like what nine, half past nine, which is obviously far too late for this. And then, as you say, what's going to be for Stappen? I mean, he's run out of batteries and he doesn't have any more working, so very much issues, but uh, we keep calm and carry on. Rebster looking to improve on his time. What is it on 29.7? Looks to improve. Only goes up one place to a 28, 29.6. 14th at the moment. Yeah, I think he had a bit of a mistake in the middle sector somewhat. But I think it will go again, or maybe try and get back around and come in a bit and get some fresh set on. He's only done my lap on him, so that should be alright. Alonso's improved me time to a 28.6, so Alonso looks to be uh, on it today, top notch. Yeah, very right, good lap there from the Alonso. <coughs> I'm saying buttons on the hards, but I don't think that's right. No, he's on softs on mine. Uh, have you... Have you got it on best tyre? We have it unfitted. It's on. Yeah, best. Yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, you've put it. Normally, I, I put it on for uh, best for Q2, because then you can see uh, what tyres people have qualified on. Yeah. If it's uh, obviously a dry Q2. Right, so here comes Button. Currently under pressure, 16 for the moment, as it comes up. Through the Magnus and Beckett section. Left and the right. Big lift as he turned into the right there. And then fifth gear on the exit. It's all about the exit. As he's got a couple of slow cars in front of him. Up to eighth gear using the overtake. In purple set to two, it comes up. Down to fourth gear. Keeps it very clean. At the end of that corner. And then into the chicane, which can be very. Um, tricky because obviously he set up the car for a lot of uh, straight line speed 
Then he comes into here, but it's going to be a 29.1. Puts him a bit safer. Into 11th. Reps is the one in trouble. Tim on Oak. And the Blitz Stig overcoming. Orphan. Orphan. Uh, all the ones yeah. in the drop zone at the minute. Of course, Orphan had a very good race in uh, Austria last time out. Sixth place is best result so far. And uh, obviously, I've known Orphan from last season's F4, which was the lowest tier. This obviously is now the lowest tier this season, F5. Um, it's definitely improving as each race goes on. Um, still looking for a podium and uh, and a win, so. But he he keeps plugging on, and this this is a guy that never never complains about people being too quick. I've never seen him once say about people being too quick in a division he's in. So definitely a big grafter that is overcome off and thirty one four stays eighteenth at the moment. Yeah, you say Tim and Ike's under pressure, and this is a, a championship challenger. Yeah, it's one of them tracks that if you just don't feel like getting the confidence it can really really show with your times if they're really fast corners these corners you have to carry a lot of speed looks a bit better though is he in the 28th no 29 one goes 11th I immediately put to 12th is that button I think yeah button up to third on a 28 three zombie head also 28 five so that puts Rebster out at the moment Puts uh, fish sticks in trouble in the Williams. Yeah, so it's Cosmic Cameron. Cosmic Cameron's not going to get another go at it. No. I see what Orphan's doing. Orphan's very low on fuel. Been hitting over in a hot lap at the moment. Oh, a little bit wide. That last one is only a tenth and a bit up. As he was but he's fine. I uh, really wanted the McLaren to do well this season in actual real life uh, F1. Mm. We know it's not going to happen anytime soon, but I was really hoping them guys would get a good season this season. 31 0 from Orphan is not enough to go through the Q2. And I don't think he's got enough fuel to go let go again, so that's him out. But Stig is on another lap. Rebster is not making it he has not made it round in time the Rebstar unfortunately is out in Q1 so it's all down to Blitz Stig Blitz Stig two he tenths can... up through the first sector yeah he's looking for a 29 now so middle middle and last has got to be a big improvement oh big he's off in the last corner not very confident through there See how he takes famous Magnus and Beckus. Oh, jeez. Line was uh, quite interesting, but it's all about the exit. He gets a good one. Yeah, it's a big I five is in the second, up. second. Still needs another second more. Gonna run out of VRS as well. Takes that corner quite nicely. Is he going to take the chicane? Yeah, he's run out of VRS now. Into second gear. As he keeps it in third, this is the apex, but it's C. This might not shut. No, 30.1. So it stays. Or actually goes ahead of Orphan, so it puts Orphan to 18th and himself to 17th. That's it for our Q1. Unfortunately, for them three, I'll say if I'm Webster, they the blitz stink and overcome Orphan. If we know anything about this track, there'll be safety cars more than likely. Especially what military virus has just put in the chat. Wet start. Light rain for 20 minutes from the race start. Hashtag Can I get a mixed conditions? Junior. Still don't know what that means, but. I didn't see that. Yeah, that didn't come up for me. Hashtag hash. Hashtag, got lots of one to say. Renault from Shane. Um, 
so sad from fish sticks. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Why are you saying so sad for? So sad because it's a wet start or? Right, so that so if it is a wet start then top notch, that kind of puts Q2 kind of irrelevance really. Everyone should really be qualifying on softs. Yeah, and that thing would uh, set up again. Whether you're running a dry or wet set up. Ah, uh, par fermi, yeah. Uh, Although... It's a very interesting fact of this second season in RSF1, I like it. Because it really gives yeah. people that are not quite as fast an opportunity to maybe get a jump in a, in a wet race or a dry qualifying, you know, just different hole than that. Yeah, and obviously, I think for me personally, I wouldn't change my setup if it's light rain for a short amount of time really i would only consider it if it's like raining all the way through yeah and then maybe i maybe i put a little bit of wet setup on because the race is what matters uh but arisa from butler in the mercedes tops the session 28-0 followed by a container and button uh out of the session unfortunately Rebster missed up by two tenths uh blitz 17th and orphan 18th Seven temps between the top seven as well, very close. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, it was very All unfortunate, right, so. the uh, F1 race, mate. I was just, it was just ramping up to finish off, and I think it was ten Ooh. laps or something left to go. It was really heating up, and uh, yeah, silly lobbies let us down. Yeah, it happens. It's one of those one of those freak freak things, you know. Can't do anything about it really. And then, in terms of you know restarting at that point, you know by that point it was, you know, if they'd had restarted, it would be about eleven, eleven half eleven when he finished, even if they didn't do qualifying. So, yeah, so it was as you say, it was boiling up very nicely. Obviously, you had um, Karun and Scumburner, you know battling between them they they were gone up at the front but they were still together and then you had that insane midfield battle did you see the uh the two by two as they went through the middle sector there yeah i did and two Both. at the front and then two at the back that was very good uh, so i'm a little bit i'm a little bit confused by these guys because there's several of them coming out of medium tires interesting do they know something that we don't? Or is the information that we've been given saying it's a wet start, is that not true? We've been duped. Hmm. I don't know. Hashtag, don't know. hashtag, hashtag race naked for the pepper meat. No thanks, yeah, pepper meat. A <laughs> um, little bit of a situation here. Jay Locker's the first out and Cameron is sticking to his... Uh, to his gearbox. Actually trying to get through they ain't this ain't a race yet guys, come on. They ain't an orderly queue. Cameron wants to get on with it. Locker gonna let him through? He does. That was um interesting from Cameron, he wants to get on with it. Uh that reminds me of um I don't know if you see this top I've seen this before top notch. In uh, real life, two thousand and six French Grand Grand Prix qualifying. Alonso and Schumacher battling for about five laps during the Q3 um, just to get trap position. Kind of took me back to that. I, I can't remember right. off the top of my head, but I'm sure if I watched the clip it would come back. It's, it's weird. It's, it's no one... The only, oh, it's Cameron and Locker. That wasn't Locker. The zombie head went straight off turn two. I just saw Red Bull fly off. So that's his lap done. Gets out of the way both Mercedes, who have also come out on medium tyres. I'm really baffled. I'm really baffled why pretty much the entire grid now on mediums, apart from Locker, who's coming out on hard tyres. Engineers, what are they doing? Why is it not softs? Unless they're saving them for Q3 and maybe the race if it dries up. A weird one for me. Let's see. Cameron giving a set a good lap on these mediums. What what are we thinking? Medium tire time. Whoa, wow, that is a oh 
It's not a great exit, and that's his lap done. Yeah, what are we thinking time for mediums? If uh, Sosa probably... Well, uh, Bottler did a 28 flat, so probably mid-28, like 28-7, 8 yeah, or something like that. that. Yeah, around the uh, 7 mark. And when 31, yeah, made a big mistake at the end of the Marcus and Beckett section. Albon 29.993. So good lap from him. Butler has bottled his lap. Military on a 128.5. On softs. On softs as well. Who is on softs? He's the only one that's set a lap on softs at the moment. The rest that are on softs are in the pits. Again, this does, um, does confuse me a little bit, but... Carry on, Red right, Bull who's... Well and at the end of the one. Who's coming through now? I like Alonso. Uh, quite high up in, I think it was top five, in the end of Q1, so we're looking to continue that on. Um, safe to say he doesn't uh, feature in, or doesn't go into Q3 that often, so this could be a good opportunity to start quite high up in the grid. It's going to be in the 29.2, head of Albon, just behind Eagle, who's in the 28s. Button comes through, 29.5, so three tenths behind his teammate. Who's next? Kazzy. Oh, Kazzy's about. Oh, big mistake from oh, Kazzy. Did he? 128.7. So he's he's hit the time exactly which we thought he was going to be. Seven tenths off his uh, Q2 time. Q1 yeah, time, sorry. Fastest to the medium so far. Locker, 29.5 on hard tyres. That's not a bad time that's on the hards. That's a solid lap. Locker needs a good result. Really needs a good result. I think his best result this this season, even though he's had the pace to win races, is second in Australia, and he had the race lead up until four corners to go. Desperate for a result. I feel like he can, it's just a question of when that's going to be, and the longer it goes without him getting a race win top notch, I do feel for the confidence. 27.8 for fish sticks in the first sector. Alpha coming through. Button, he's got on a second lap on the medium tyres and he's about three tenths up as he goes into the chicane. Let's see, it's a 28, 28, 8, 8, 8. Try and hit that lap again, Button, if you can. I dare ya. Nice lap, goes fourth, just ahead of his teammate now. Who's next? Has a brave container. Also done, well he's done two laps on his mediums already, so this is going to be his third. And it's going to be in the 28s. Oh, it's the exact eight, eight, same time eight. as Button. Wow. <laughs> what are the chances that two drivers hit that? Oh boy. Yeah, nice, done good lap, laps but he's on done... the mediums out. Yeah. Kazzy has retired, uh, retired, invalidated his lap again, and he's going out and uh, going for another one. Yeah, just about time to try and do a lap, and if he's not happy with it, I should think he'll have time to get in the pits, put the softs on, and go again. So, as long as he's got the fuel. Very confident if we turn one, that's exactly what you need to be. Turn one, you just got to fling the car in. It's all about the setup of the car, knowing that it's planted. I didn't on Sunday, twice. So, uh, comes on this sector now. 27, 27.9, decent first sector. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about with Kazi and Brave are top notch is if you had the situation where it's raining but they're on dry tyres, 
they've done three laps on those mediums, then that purchase over the line is not going to be great. As Kazi oh, again! Kazi oh. Invalidated through the old turn That's one. a harsh... That's a harsh one, but that is... That underlines how... Well, easy it is to do. Lauda's done the same thing in a different corner. That... Because that, that wasn't even... That was half a wheel, if that. Come on, Kazi, you'll be very frustrated with that. So what does he do now? I'm guessing he... Yeah, I'm guessing he pits and goes on to softs. Can't use those again. Yeah, pretty much all he can do, really. So he's looking at him up. mate. Very good so far. Let's see how he takes this. Complete... Whoa, completely wow. flat first few bits. Wow, lovely through there. Very nice. I think it's on the wheel that gives him the advantage of that. Yeah, it does make it a lot easier on the wheel. It'll be a lot more smoother. Nice. Touching the apex, keeping it clean. I mean, you can one ride in that Little corner. Wobble on the exit, but that's perfectly fine. Pulled it nicely. Stayed very shallow Pretty there. Good. Nicely done. Sticks him in the right at the moment. Yeah, Kazi's gone on to softs now. Good call. I wouldn't have used those mediums again. Ah. Zombie goes to ninth on a 29.7 on mediums. RSF1 Alban top 10. Yeah, still got Lauda, Kazi, and Tim and I get to set a lap, but they've still got four minutes to go, so reasonable amount of time. As Lauda goes through the old turn one, flings the car in. An yeah, old turn one is like new turn one. Pretty much exactly the same, you just gotta turn the car in, full speed, full commitment, and hope it sticks. Full seven middle sector from uh, Lauda looks pretty good. He's kind of banking on this lap or the next one as well, really, because uh, he's not going to have much time to get back around and in. All slightly deep into that chicane. Got plenty of ARS to run to the end, though. Let's say 29.3. Goes 8th at the moment. Knocks Timmer back out the top 10. It's only six tenths off the fastest uh, medium runner, so it's very close. Kind of a shame it's... Uh, I don't even know why I'm saying this. It's kind of a shame that it's mixed conditions because time, the times between everyone here look really close. It's uh, uh, three tenths covering six of them at the moment. Him up. Maximum commitment through first part of Magnus and Beckett gets the exit. Very nice. Through the corner, 4 6 middle sector. That's slightly quicker than Lauders. He does have a car ahead of him. That's an Alfra. All on an outlap. I think it's Alonso. So Timber Knight's going to get a little bit of dirty air into the chicane. Gets it turned in nicely, though. And a very good exit. This looks a very solid lap. 29-0. Goes sixth. Very good lap from Tim and Ike there. Right, Kazzy. So this has gotta this has gotta do it for Kazzy, top notch. She's got no other opportunities left really. No. Or two. Alban's out. Alban is. That's in the pits. Yeah, he had nothing. No more tyres, no more. 
uh, anything less. So he is out for the time being. Start 13th at best. Here comes Kazi. I expect this to go top, to be honest. Yeah, 28 free. Well, he's safely through. Starting on softs, though. That's not what he wanted, but at least he's uh, through to the next round. Yeah, probably the most, uh, probably the thing I've learned uh, through league racing. That's the most important thing. Trap positioning, especially on the first lap. Oh, locker. I did not want to keep with him through that um, middle part. He's on the soft tyres. 4 6. He used to be really in, well into the 28s, I think, to be safe. Yeah, he takes it. Sift gear. Runs the guy a little bit wider than most people I've seen through there. But it's perfectly fine. It keeps it clean. And it's going to be 28. 28.8. Joins the 28.8 club. There's four people on it now. As Alonso's retired. That's a bit risky in P10. Zombie here's just going to cross the line to start his lap. 17 seconds left. I think both Ferraris are going to be out. Cameron has got 10 seconds left. I don't think he's going to make it. It's going to be very close. 3, 2, oh. 1. No! Oh! He oh. was a Cosmic second too Cameron. late. That's the, probably the closest I've seen <laughs> on the line. Very unlucky there for the Ferrari. Uh, I don't know what's happened with Zombie Head. Time gone to an outlap. Has he invalidated? Yeah, mine's gone to an outlap. I'm not sure if he's on the lap. I'm just not seeing it. Well, it, start, it started the lap, but then he he ended the first sector, and then it went outlap. I'm not sure. This is the only guy that's going to knock Alonso out of uh, the top ten because Alonso's on the bubble. Yeah, Alonso looked comfortable early on in qualifying. He's the one under pressure now, though. So a zombie head. I think he's still on that. And I he's can't tell. On ERS four, so he's going full pace. I can't tell whether he's what time he's going to get. So we're going to have no. to wait as he crosses the line. Wow. Well, since I've been watching him, it's been clean. He does. No, he did, yeah. He did. I think that was like fourth. Second. Second. So Alonso. Wow. Alonso just misses out on a Q3 appearance. A very good effort there. Misses out by all oh, six hundredths to fish sticks. Very fish, close. Fish sticks in the chat with DRS broke for my lap. Oof. Eliminated from Q2, RS of one Alonso in the Alpha, the Ferrari of Alauda, uh, Toro Rosso of Tima, the Mercedes of Albon, and the other Ferrari of Cosmic Cameron will start 15th. Up in the session, Kazi, Zombie Head, Military Virus, all on sauce. Quick as on mediums was Butler, but he has Eagle, Button, and Brave Container for close company behind him. Close qualifying there, top notch so far, and I think really pole position is anybody's. I mean, I know Butler has topped the session <coughs> on the relative tyres, but you know, and he set the quickest time in Q1. But did anybody else hold anything back in that Q1 session while they're all on sauce? Yeah, a couple of people looked under pressure as well. Cassie Babe uh, didn't get a lap until very late, messed up a few laps. Um, fish sticks with the DRS problem. Uh, Tim, Tim and I didn't get a lap into the late as well, so yeah. Things to be ironed out in this Q3 session. They won't poll. Right, here we go. Uh, yeah, has. Come on, Tim and Ike, says Junior. Obviously part of the Racing Point team. Tawip, says Connor. Still don't know what that is. Um, Fishstick saying so close. Yep, yeah. and uh, Tomo just missed out on Q3. Yeah, 
very, very close there, Tamo, but good effort. Um, obviously, he's starting on fresh tyres if they all start on the dry tyres top notch, so there's still an opportunity there. Yeah, it sure is. Right, predictions in the chat. Top three. What do you think will be? I'm going for you, top notch. Who do you reckon top three will be? Um, well, going off past races in F5, um, we're going to go with a Renault for pole. Um, As he, yep, the only Renault. Ray, so, Ray only Renault. Container for second. Mm -hmm. And J Locker with some luck in third position. Yeah, they okay. there first. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking Eagle first, Butler second, and Button third. I'm going with. All right, let's. Uh, do you mind me doing a hot lap on board with Tim and Ike? No, you go for it, mate. He's ready for you to hop on board with. Okay. All right, so here we go. Through as he begins the lap on his way down to turn one. Overtake mode as he ends turn one. He needs to slightly take the wide line. He had to pad it a little bit for their turn one and turn two is completely flat out. Turn three down on the brakes to third gear and then down into second gear, trying to get the good exit onto this little straight. Let's flat out through turn five, I believe that is. Then underneath the bridge, that is going to be the end of the first sector as you hit the 100 meter board as you break down into this long left hander. And then you've got to try and carry the speed through this right hand onto the old front straight. Got to get the exit once again, and he does so. And then completely flat out through this corner. So you've got the grip markings from the old, olden times where we originally started out this corner. And then the old turn one, you're going to have so much confidence, keep it clean. He just about does so. And then, hold your breath. Maggots and maggots left and right, keeping the speed as up as much as you can, and then getting the exit correctly right he's got a bit of slide going on but he keeps it nicely then on to the hangar straight where obviously the famous moment of Mansell and PK going side by side banging tires as they go into this corner Tim and Knight takes that very nicely then into the final chicane it's a bit like Spain at the end of the lap very fiddly and uh, difficult to control but he's done that very very nice this looks like a very good lap from Tim and Knight and it sets a 28 Point seven. We have seen quicker, but that's a solid banker lap from Tim and Ike there. Yep, the two behind him have invalidated that leaving zombie head. 129.1. Chris Dix, 28.7, just beats Tim and Ike. There's uh, Alpha, I think, next. Button. That's Button. 28.1. Oh no. There's 28.1 on the top, and then put 28.0. On the top left, so but so uh, that's beating Butler's time. Just I think has he bay second place five tenths off. Oh no, four tenths off. Five. The other Williams of virus is about to come through. But he's up or not? Clips the uh, clips the curb. As he hands it, this looks pretty good though. Oh, it's a twenty-eight three. Second. Eagle though, Eagle look quick. 28.5 for Eagle. Okay. Right, so container's the last one. Locker right, this and container has got a 103 the for the second sector. That's fast. It's more I can see in see. the 104s, and that's the first 103 I've seen. He's a chicane very nicely there. Is it going to be in the 27s? Oh, yes, 27.8. <laughs> First person in the 27s. He sets the benchmark. Very nice that from container. But let's see. Bottler, does he have anything left? He hit a 28 flat in Q1. And he was top of the medium runners in Q2, so he has the momentum going into this session. Can he go quicker? Can he go into the 27s? That seems to be the be the point. 
Oh, in front of him. Uh, if I was on oh, eagle. Eagle. That would put him off sight. He's on an outlap though, so he's fine. Kane are going again. No, he's a second down. Virus is back in. Eagle is there. So lock. Uh, Butler's going to be the only one. So lap different, different strategy here. Top notch. Obviously, he's waited for the others to set a lap, and then he's going to set one himself. Here he takes turn one. Does he take the wide line? No. Eyes, ah, eyes ah, cut it. It's invalid already. Ooh. Now the, the trick of that turn one, you may have seen a lot of the F1 drivers do it, is just to go slightly wide so your left tyres are on the kerb as you turn in. That gives you the right line so you, then you don't cut the inside kerb which invalidates your lap. As Butler has just shown. So thank you very much Butler for your example. Um, yeah, that's the little tactic for turn one now. A little bit of pressure now for Butler. Is he uh, bottling qualifying? Potentially. <laughs> See what I did there? No, no, no. Still, he's still got plenty of time though, Top Notch. It's alright, but it's not ideal. No, it's not ideal to come out. What you want to do is go in, get two laps of fuel, or four laps of fuel, so you got your out lap and then lap, and just go for it. I think Eagle's going again. I think he's done a, a slow lap and he's going again. He's going full all beans into Magnus and Beckett, so it's taking it very, very nicely. Does he get the exit though? Oof. Just keeps it on. The tenth up. Which would put him ahead of Kazi at the moment, but can he find a little bit extra to get on the front row? Ooh, a bit on the inside. Nah, he's gonna do the bits he thinks. Fine, I can go quicker, so let's get a fresh set of tires on. Right, 3 minutes 50 to go. As he flies into turn 1 there. It's definitely going to be an interesting start top notch if it's raining. All those corners that we said, turn 1 and old turn 1, and that long sweeping corners are going to be really tricky. Yep, yeah, that's changed the need of the set of the car for sure. Have we had rain this week? I believe we did it in F4. Of course we did. Of course we did. What am I talking about? Was that uh, qualifying though, wasn't it? I believe it was. Yeah, it didn't have it race. Didn't have it race. So, by the looks of it, obviously we've got F3 tomorrow to uh, change it. Let's see if Kazi doesn't take the wide line, but actually turns in perfectly. And into the chicane, down onto the brakes. Put in the second, yep. Get the exit. Not going for ERS, now he does. Now he does. See, there's a couple of people in this uh, tier top notch, if you watch. They they don't manage ERS, they keep it in hot lap or um, overtake. Uh, you can see on see on board Kazi right now, he's managing it as he goes round. Which yeah, is the thing you to need do. to do. It is hard to do. It takes another level of concentration because you know, the people that ain't, ain't, ain't uh, managing that, they ain't thinking about it as much. But you can gain from it. I'm finding interesting from Kazi's, he's not going in overtake in places I would normally use it. He's in um, medium, I think, actually. Or one, he's a tenth up. Got plenty of ERS left to go, so maybe that's what is, that's what was his um, plan. Keeps it in overtake all the way up to this point. And I presume he could have been had it in hot lap. He's still got plenty left, but here we go. He's looks pretty solid. Is it going to challenge the top? It's not. It's a 28 1 though. Goes third. Or maybe he's going for a second lap. I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. He if he wanted to kind of go quick, but then save enough for your rest, you can go again. Yeah, Maybe that's what it was. Well, I think nice. the one we are is um, military virus is still in the pit, so unfortunately he's not going to get to go again. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe he doesn't have any tyres left. It's my fault. Right, so who's going to be <coughs> next? Let's go through old turn one still. Oh, let's keep on board of him. I think he's next. What's the zombie head next? Zombie head's next, and he's six cents up his zombie head. This looks pretty good. So we'll put him currently fifth. See how middle sector goes. I'll swing it out. And 28 2 goes fourth. Him and Ike next. Six tenths up also. This will put him into third, possibly challenging the front row here. Ooh, 28 1. Kazzy, Kazzy. I'll go second. Second. Five thousandths. Five thousandths off container. Oh, that was close. Gets well out the way for Barry Feather, so that's good. So who's next? Button's going to be next as the flag drops. So that's it. This is the last opportunity. Button is two tenths People. up at the moment. Middle sector. Four tenths up. Four tenths up. This is this is a mid-26. Mid-27, sorry, if you can keep it together. Oh, slightly wide there. As the wheels, so he got it back together. Uh, second gear slightly deep into the chicane. Has he kept the time? So that's good. 27. Oh, he lost Whoa. a bit. He it's lost a bit, though. but he takes it. And containers are validated. But who's next? Uh, Mercedes. Butler. 28 0. Goes fourth. Red Bull of Locker stays seventh. Williams. Fish sticks. Goes to ninth. That leaves Butler is already invalidated. Kazi is backed off. Tim and Ike is backed off. Um, that's it. That's yep. it. RSL from Button takes pole position just ahead of Container and just ahead of Kazi. Oh, very. I, again, again, I beg the question. I know mixed conditions will be exciting and dramatic potentially, but if it's a, I think we're missing out a bit of a gem of a race if it had stayed dry all the way through. Those times yeah. are anything to go by. It would have been very close. And then top three, two hundred separating them. Go to leader, yeah. Half a second covering eight of them. That's very good. And a tenth, as you say, covering the top three. Well, in fourth place. Another good qualifying. He qualified very well last time out in Austria. Uh, was leading the race after Locker made a mistake. They were both battling. Locker made a mistake, gave, gave Bottler the opportunity. Then he lost it himself in the pit lane, actually. So he'd be looking not to do it again. There. Um, take us through the top 10 there, uh, top notch. Uh, in 10th position, RSF1 Eagle. 8th uh, position, Fish Sticks. 8th position, Military Virus. 7th position, J Locker. Sixth present position zombie head, fifth position Timonique, fourth position RSF on Butler, third position Kazzy Babes, second position Braver Container, and first position RSF on Button. <laughs> Roberts in the chat saying boom. That's his reaction to pole position of the Alpha and Patronus very Happy with the lap as well. So let's see. And there is you it have raining? It. Oh, it is. That's in as. Let's just quickly check the tyres. Yeah, all intermediate start. Brilliant. Right, I'm just going to very quickly grab a drink. Yep, I'm going to do the same. I'll try to.
Ah, no one ready that, that's good. That's, a, that's my, my one fear. Let's hope for a good race ahead, and obviously with the mitts conditions potentially, when is it going to dry? Are people going to make the right call for dry tyres? So many questions, who is going to get the opportunity going forward? Ah, that's better. Oh, right. Obviously those, those that wanted the opportunity to start on medium tyres outside the top 10, that advantage obviously goes, but they may have fresh tyres if it does dry up. So, so yeah, um, let's hope we have a good race. And again, I was readying up, so it's fantastic. Yeah, Inter Inter Star. I saw that, <clears throat> Junior. So let's see, let's see. When did they? Actually, that's a that's a question for anyone watching. When was the last uh, wet race? <laughs> when was the last wet race that these guys had, and who won it? I mean, indication on who is good in the wet in this tier. I think if I remember rightly, um. Button as well, I think was good in good in the wet last time. Good evening to Mr. Fluffy. Obviously one of the newest drivers to the league. Hopefully you've had a a good first week. Um hopefully you enjoy the what watching the races. I'm glad you are. Um it's good to see. Ah, oh, Unity. F1 will get rain at some point. F1 will get rain. I promise you. Um, wouldn't it be weird, though, if you don't get rain the entirety of the season, then you get a wet race in Abu Dhabi? The one place where it's least likely to get rain. Would have been. That would be interesting if that does happen. All right. Look at the race director. Actually, I shouldn't really, just in case someone does ready up before the host. But I think there's plenty. I think we've waited plenty of time now. What are the good in the rain? Yeah, I, yeah, I think I remember. Um, it used to be Clark. Remember, he was pretty good. And yeah, there we go. Revs is, Rev is ticked. So we shall get underway. Obviously, big question is hopefully we can keep it clean in the first few corners. The first lap's going to be very, very tricky with these conditions. Obviously, some of these guys may not have a wet set up on the downforce. So that could be an issue, but hopefully we can have an entertaining race. Hopefully also, fingers crossed, we can have no issues. Away they go on their formation lap. Hi, Brandon, mate. Good timing. They just uh, started their formation out. Do you want to take us through? Oh, yeah. So, at the back of the grid, in 18th position, Overcome Orphan. In 17th position, the Blitz Stig. In uh, 16th position, RSF1 Rebster. 15th position, Cosmic Cameron. 14th position, RSF1 Albon. And then 13th position, Timmer. 12th position, RSF1 Lauda. 11th position, RSF1 Alonso. 10th position, RSF1 Eagle. A lot of RSF1s in this one, aren't there? <laughs> I know, yeah. And then 9th position, Fistix. He's behind his teammate in the other Williams. 8th position, Military Virus. And then the first of the Red Bull. J Locker in 7th position, 6th position, just in front of him, his teammate, in the other Red Bull, Zombie Head, and then 5th position in the racing point, Tim Monique, 4th position, 
RSF on bottler and then third position Kazzy Babes in the Renault and then in second position just like I called earlier uh, Braver Container in the Haas and then on pole first of the drivers tonight RSF one button oh yeah I didn't exactly that track. I didn't exactly get I didn't exactly get the um the best camera angle going through on the nose of a button as he goes through but thank you very much top notch uh, a couple of drivers on the line already that's a Renault or still gonna think that might be Rebster so they they're gonna have, they're gonna have uh, difficult tires. yeah that's not it not ideal also not ideal is the camera angle what is this give me a good cam camera angle please where's the good one all right here we go we're all set and ready if you keep an eye in the back i'll keep up at the front I shall here do, mate. we go give me a good honestly where's the cameras all right here we go three four five lights as lights out and away they go that's the camera angle i wanted and here we go so container on the inside still as it go into turn one please keep it clear the side by side oh there's oh, a spinning mercedes oh, oh no that's oh in the middle oh. and he's out oh and oh that's that horrible carnage there in the backfield and safety car already big yep, damage oh there's several there, several people around Rebster, locker louder got caught up in that Orphans picked his way through. Ah, uh, all got all claustroph claustrophobic. I think is the word. In uh, turn one, uh, container and button were side by side, rubbing tires, and I think behind maybe uh, Butler got a slight tap from someone sideways. And he was just in the middle of the road, parked. And again, yeah. like uh, like oh F four. In France, mate. Yeah. Same kind of thing. They had the carnage on turn one, but uh. I think we've sir. Oh, safety car. He was worried about overtaking it because yeah. he's already got through. Fine, so he's got damage. Has Locker got damage? He's got caught up. Yes, he has. Yeah, the only good thing for um, these guys is they're going to be able to get in the pit, get the tyres, new tyres, and uh, catch up to the back of the group. And, uh, you know. The big loser is uh, Arsene von Bottler and Jay Locker. Alonso damage as well. Uh, Tim and No, Eagle No. A few damage. It's similar. It's not as bad as F4 France, I think. Um, top notch, but similar there. Quite a few people were damaged that. But as you say, safety car, they can pit yeah. now. Uh, virus is not pit. Oh no, he is pitting. It's the camera angle. Uh, Cameron's in. He had a great start, so that's gonna he has had a great bring start. him down. I... And he sped in the pit lane as well. That's, that's not gonna, gonna help. That's gonna put the blitz stig up. Gained the uh, oh, yeah. few positions. Look at them rocket up. 11, 11 places. Nice start. He's obviously picked his way through like NASCAR style through the smoke. Or well, in this case, the debris. Yeah, sometimes the other at the side. start of a race, I was better. For them first These orphans up to ninth as well. So, Virus, Cameron, Fistix, Alonso, Album, Locker, Louder, and Revster all in the pits for wing damage. I'm not going to lie, Thank mate, goodness, some safety horrible, car was called. Uh, camera angles. I haven't really oh. seen much at the moment. <laughs> Cameras have been very nice. Right, so those guys can go back up to the uh, <clears throat> back of the grid and they can continue going. Yep, someone you showed Tenth out earlier, overcome Orphan, up nine places, done a great job at the moment. Got through, no mm -hmm. wing damage. So good start for him. What a shame for Butler though. Good qualifying, just nothing he could have done. That's probably... I, I don't again I don't think obviously looking back I need to look back and obviously <clears throat> the start possibly but I don't think there was any malice in there it was just you know racing yeah, all going side by confusion. side really through there confusion yeah yeah it's hesitant I mean, I mean, as well containers, you know, 
not knowing what really what times the best pace to go through they're at. It's now gone from being really fast and attacking it to all adjusting adjusting uh, your steering and not really knowing when to brake. <laughs> and uh, button were in almost interlocking tyres through uh, turn one there. Very, did very well not to uh, spin each other out there. Must have been very, very close. I think, I, I think I'd like to see is uh, maybe a medium on the TT thing so you can, uh, the intermediate, sorry. So instead of just wet and mm. normal, you could do like intermediate tyres as well. And that would be hard, but because you can't yeah. really practice it you gotta get a lobby together and you know you can't always get yeah because <clears throat> intermediate tires are really difficult as well i think on this game as well um all wet's obviously i see the main difference to dry and wet is uh breaking points you've got to break a lot earlier in the wet than the dry and obviously you don't have enough grip or as much grip as you would in the dry for me for me, they are still missing one thing, is that in um, Forza 7, when it rains, all this album gets a very harsh 10 second penalty there. That could be taken off at the end of the race. One thing, one thing you've got to be careful under the safety card now is if you cut corners, got to keep it clean. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the thing in Forza 7 is they have really good uh, wet weather effects. As in, as also they have puddles on the on the track that change over time. You know, you know, remember the uh, Germany Germany Real Life race yeah. last year? Yeah. Remember when um was it um Sebastian? Oh my god, we. Oh my god, Sebastian the other Vettel. Ferrari. Oh my god. Was it not Vettel? What's his name? No, the other Ferrari. Leclerc. Oh my god. I haven't watched or heard F1 in so long. Bear with me. Jesus. Yeah, you know when the Leclerc went onto that drag strip and just went skated through because of the amount of standard water? Yep. That. They had that in Falls of Seven. Imagine that in F1 on this game. Would be cool. Puddle effects. That change lap over lap. Yeah. Anyway. Braver takes let's control. Get Let's get this underway. When is he going to go? When is he going to hit the restart? Safety car is in the pit lane, so he can go now if he wants to, but he's, he's got to control the pace. People behind are all bunching up. Keep careful, guys. Don't hit each other. And it's still waiting. Still waiting. Fish sticks oh, fish sticks five in. seconds. Collision I see them all bunching up. Pain is still not going. When is he going no. to go? Oh, he's... What are you doing? Surely you gotta go now. He left it really, oh, now really he late. Goes. Ooh. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. that was that rough. Done is bunch these oh, that's bunched. Everyone it's is bunched really everyone bunched up. again. Oh, there's free wide. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Don't go free wide. Mercedes round. Albon round. Cameron round. I think as well. Yep. They're both in the pits. You don't go free wide through turn one. Oh boy. Well, it's, it's, it's worked, the container, but as you say, it bunched everybody up loud as... Uh, no, virus is around a thing as well. It's bunched all this midfield up. They'll go free wide through turn one. Oh, louder. Louder's got... Uh... Okay, the louder's going pretty slowly. What's going on with louder? Nah, he's all right. I think he just pulled out of it. I didn't... I don't think he wanted to be going three wide again. The container's gone. Yeah, Braven container's got three seconds of the RSF1 button. Meanwhile, Button's got zombie head right behind him. Oh, zombie head going really wide. A bit wide. wide. See, all set to two. Orphans, orphans gone wide. I think uh, Cameron's off as well. Oh, virus, virus is spinning. Yeah. At the end of the uh, Beckett's. Oh, he's he's not liking this at all. A 
button is really struggling to keep up with container. Four seconds nearly at the end of this lap. Container's, container's gone. It's completely gone. And Button's got Zombie, Kazzy and Eagle all up behind him. As Kazzy's got Kazzy gone sideways. Eagle's gone sideways. No, Kazzy... They both went sideways. But Eagle made it through. Oof. Conditions, fish sticks and Alonso going side by side as well. Fish sticks go back across. Tap gives Alonso a little bit of a tap. Yeah, and Alonso has his. Cameron's off. Yeah, Cameron's off again. Not a good race. It's not over yet. Mate. Field all a long up. way to go. Revs is right behind his old sparring partner Alonso. And out the front, just bring that gap down to just three seconds. So he's kind of managing the situation now. Oh, big side for Morphin up front. Oh, Fish six has passed. Now Alonso's going to have a go. Oh, oh, Orphan again with a slide. Oh, okay. and he's, got, he's got a penalty. Oh, that's a that's a really harsh penalty because he was going sideways. Very sensible from Rebster there. I just clicked on Rebster and he hit the brakes just behind him. Rebster's having a go on Alonso. Alonso. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, gives him a tap. Oh. No, he's found himself. Oh, snaps it back together. Luckily, oh. didn't interfere with uh, Loud there. Just got oh. out of the way oh. nicely. Button fastest lap. Then, um, passed this out, so he's pulled the gap back down to three seconds, but he was only a tenth quicker than containers. Fast this out. Oh, his uh, Stig is off. Stig. He's off. Oh, Turn Stig one. He's back well. on. Fouled up. On the inside of Stig, and he's through. Alright, so just like uh, what we saw in F4 a few times, the uh, few corners are catching these guys out there top notch. Yeah, just a big change, even to intermediates from the dry. Half of these corners that are, you know, nearly flat and uh, dry. And oh, Cameron's off again. Way. Oh, Cameron is having a rough race. Back on once again, he's got more damage. He's right at the back. Oh, and he gets a 10 second penalty as well. Just coming back on the track. I've seen that couple of them off this track where people have gone wide and slowed right down and then come back on and got a 10 second time penalty. I think it's a bit silly. It's really rough. Uh, Stig's, oh Stig's had an off. Stig, where passed. is he? Yeah, yeah Blitz Stig, he's had a... Old turn one. Oh and he's got a bit damaged as well so he's got massive understeers. Locker's gonna try and get by him. Military virus just got the trouble. jump on Albon. Lovely move there on the exit of Maggots and Beckett. Very <clears> nice. Surely Lock is going to go. Yeah. But Stig is doing the right thing. Getting people back. His eagle now sets the fastest lap into the 43s. That's one in the 43s. Container back up to four seconds. Just con I think con containers is controlling this pace at the front at the moment. As Stig is in, so container leads. Albert five second penalty. Where has he got that from? Oh, he's at. Oh, he's off. Albert's off. Oh, he's had a big spin. Oh, he's back at. Oh, and he's spinning again. Containers, meanwhile, containers called it a day. Albert a bit too quick on the throttle. Tires were still aching hot and it spins around again. <clears throat> oh, he's got again. Come on. Bring it back, man, carefully. All right. All the while that's happened. Oh, it's F1 Eagles slowly but surely creep into the back of that Red Bull. 
It's like I want that third position, mate. Podium's mine. Yeah. Zombie had doing a good race so far. I don't think, don't think he's had a podium so far this season. I don't think he's been near the top either in terms of the races. So still a few of these guys really struggling and I think that's down to I think it's set up they don't have as much downfall as they normally would Locker has been passed by Orphan and Alvin is off again turn one or old turn one sorry yeah Bottler put in the chat can't believe what's happening to me I'm so unlucky unlucky mate very unlucky yeah, so. yeah. One of them things. Oh, Alonso's like, gone past up. fish sticks. Oh, oh, well, he was off track doing it there. Mate. Tim is on the back of Tim and Ike meantime as well. There's a couple of battles going on. Well, container leads now 4.6 at the moment, but I'm trying to keep up with him. And then two seconds back to Zombie and Eagle. Kazi in fifth. Tim has got the run on Tim and Ike into the old turn one. Not thinking of a move there. Wait for the straight. Oh, Albans. Better of it. Retired. Yeah, Albans. Albans got in it today. He's had a rough run. Doesn't like the rain at all by the looks of it. And behind Timmer is Alonso. He's got fish sticks all over the back of him. Loud is in 10th with Rebster right behind him. Virus. 12th, Orphan, Locker, and Blitzstig still going around. Still, I think this race, if we're led to believe it's going to dry up at some point, top notch, it's all going to be who's going to go on the dries at the correct time. Yep, yeah, we've seen before. <coughs> I think uh, that was Primus in F4. Oh! Oh, lovely. Oh, Tim and I, Tim and I got a massive snap. Tim is all over, all over him now. He came up, <clears throat> he came out the chicane, Tim and I got a massive snap on the car, kept it, gave Tim the opportunity, Tim and didn't take it though. This is big for Tim and I in terms of the championship top notch, he's got to keep Kazi in his eyesight Yeah. in this race. Oh, when he's not got a good exit, Tim is all over him. And here we go, this is going to be side by side. And Tim and Ike hold it. You can still try to go around the outside if he can. He's holding it. But Tim has the inside and keeps it. Oh, Tim and Ike. Big snap. I think Tim and Ike wants this to dry up as soon as possible, by the looks of it. I'll yeah, keep struggling. Struggling with that traction. In terms of the rain, I don't think it's easing off that much. No, and I don't know how far these intermediate tyres go, uh, but they've already done quite a few laps. Nine, mm -hmm. and they cross the line. Yeah, no, that, I would have said, I don't think um, those that have pitted in that, caught up in that damage, have got an advantage as Fistix has got a the front line speed. That's my opportunity, that's my, my best effort. Alonso pulls back away as if he had like a burst of speed there. Almost like he had a, a nitros and he just used it. So Alonso keeps in 8th and is uh, starting to catch up on Timonite now. It's all bunching up. Eagle's still on the back of zombie head. Hmm. I'd love to have like you know that thing when if you're driving you can ask Jeff when the or what conditions it is like in like five ten minutes or something. Yep. That'll be the that'll be the key thing because they'll pro they're probably doing it constantly. When a, when to pit or whether to pit for another set of intermediate tires or not. That's yeah, really really. I, I find myself doing it all the time, every time I get onto a straight, I'm clicking the buttons, trying to find out. Oh, Rebs has made a bit of a mistake on the exit, let's give Military Virus the run. Yeah. It's 
still on the back of Louder, and they can still see the battling Fistics, Alonzo, and uh, Timonite, so. Yeah. Oh, it's Revster. Oh, oh, Revster, keep it. Oh, he's alright. Alright, bring it, bring it back. Reefer says 10 minutes left of rain. So that's a good. How many laps is that? That's a good five laps, I think. What time's they doing? Minute 43. So that yeah, that's about five laps. So it's 10 more minutes to rain. Then it's got to dry up, or the track's got to dry up for dry tires. Bonzo very sideways. We turn one. Yeah, I think that's going to be the question. Do you do you stay out on worn inters to when the dry tires are usable, or do you pit for another set? But then lose a bit of time on those that stayed out. Well, I know for a fact there's more than a bit of time around here, mate. The pit stops huge around Silverstone. Yeah. Close to 35 it's a very seconds. The long, long pit lane and a very slow pit limiter, isn't it? So, yeah, if you're forced to do two pit stops, you're going to be dropping a lot of time. you got to call it right around here. Yeah, as Jonas much virus gets that corner like right again on the exit, and he is on the side of RSF oh, louder. <clears throat> he's thinking better of it though, through old turn one. But he seems to get a run out of there. He got he got it to Webster last lap. He got the traction down and got the run out of there. Oh! Nearly went into the back of louder there. Keeping an eye on this midfield battle, Webster's gone Webster's off. Webster's lost it. Oh, he spun it. In the gravel, get it back together. Careful, because there's a rebel coming. Oh, uh, yeah, just about right. The flags, right? No safety cars or anything. Bistics and Alonso, and now Tim and I all together. Uh, yeah, Tim has gone up. up the road. Meantime. Ravers keeping around about four seconds. That was five seconds. It keeps them um, going up and down, to be honest. And Eagle cannot find a way past Zombie Head for third. A gap still saying that the second as Virus has got past Louder for tenth. Anyone in the chat know how long intermediates last? I have a feeling it's about 12.13 and it really depends on how well you're, how well everyone is on their tyres. Tim and I's really struggling I think. They're definitely going to start feeling it. Oh Eagle's got past Zombie Head. Zombie Head's had a slide and uh, Eagle's through. He was waiting for the mistake and Eagle's through and deferred. But he's nearly Fish six sticks. seconds behind. On the back oh. of RSF on Eagle. I mean Alonso. Uh, Alonso, yep, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So many RSF ones. Ooh. Well over the curb there, fish sticks. Yeah, it's backed off a little I bit. reckon Virus Pretty is going to be on the back of them soon enough. Yeah, he is gaining. Bunching up, but still. No one pitting yet. Oh! Three sticks, that's uh, I don't know whether that was later breaking or... Uh, Rob was saying in the chat, oh here comes Alonso, that's a move. Up on the inside of uh, Tim and Ike, oh that would be brave. Thinks better of it, that's going to give Three sticks an opportunity, who has a look, but again backs out, they're all they're all slowing each other up, and now Virus is on the back of them. It's the only battle, really. These four now. Alonso. Oh, I think Alonso needs to get past Timonite. Timonite looks to be a little bit of a cork in the bottle here. For the trying to get ready me. outside. Virus behind him on board of fish sticks. The virus behind is the rain stopping by the looks of it. 
military like the X out of this corner, but he didn't seem to hook it up that time. Not much, has the rain over. stopped? I think the rain stopped. Yeah, the rain has stopped, mate. Look at the spray though, still. Oh, oh they're all struggling through the old turn one. Which the mm -hmm. Bonzo, they all went a bit wide. There's the shot. Timonite's got a little bit of a breathing space because Alonso's on the big pressure from Fistix. Here we go. Oh, big slide from Fistix. You cannot get the run. Is he going to let Virus go through? Are they going to be team orders? I don't think so. What if it tries? Renault's in. Kazi is in. Kazi is in. Fistix is in. It's not dry tyres, surely. Look at the spray. Yeah, it's a lot of spray. Gonna come on. If he goes dry, he's gonna drop way down. I feel. Yeah, it's dry tyres. Bold call. Very bold call because he was doing well. Bold call. What's Fistits go to? He's. Uh, Pickery's not doing anything yet. Still a lot of spray coming off his tyres. See now, Fistits gone to intermediate tyres. Multi virus in the back of Alonso, there's still a lot of, lot of spray coming off. Revs over the five second time penalty speed, speed in the pit in lane. The pit lane. Yeah, we've gone very well. I think this is, I think this might be the issue. I think they're on quite worn tyres. See the time loss for, is there any time loss for Kazi? How's he doing? Oh, oh he's struggling. Multi virus has got the run. Oh, he's got no. He's no. Oh, what's happened there? What happened there? Virus got the run out of the right left at the end Ooh, of the second one. Went for the outside move, caught the curb, and he just lost that mate. Oh, oh, that's a real shame. Virtual safety car rather than a full safety car, which is weird. Ah, uh, that's a sh that's a shame for virus. Yeah. Missed that. He went for the Should move, on got on the kerb, I think the kerb was just a bit Ooh. too wet. Yep, Webs is on, Rebs is on dry tyres. Oh, look at it, he... no, there's no grip. It's too soon still. Button yeah, look at the spray. Time penalty. Fristics as well. Rave has got 10 it's seconds eight. on button now. Yeah, can, how's that gone to 10 seconds? Um, I'm not what sure. Be? Yeah, it's all about when do you pick. Green, green, oh, green flag. Look at Alonso. He's got the jump on Tim and Ike. He caught Tim and Ike napping. Oh, and he's sliding into... Oh, he got the move, but he's sliding. Lock and meantime's in. Is he gone for dries? Nope. Fresh set of Inters. Fresh set of Inters. That's a bold move. As well, because I think it's the right move. If your tyres are worn, then uh, oh, it's Alonso and Timonike are still battling. Um, it's not dry yet. Going, isn't it? No, there's still spray coming off them intermediates. A lot of <coughs> spray. Oh, here comes Alonso. Overtake. Oh, this is going to be that's a brave move. Oh, is Timonike going to hold it? Alonso sticking it in. Oh, side by side. Tim and I gave him the room. It's this, this, they're oh. still side by side. Give me a good camera angle. Oh, it's that. through. Alonso's through. Big slide again. Good racing. Good Very racing good so racing far. There. One of the closest ones at the moment. Keeping an eye on that time difference between Kazi and Orphan, and it's still going up like a tenth. Every time I look at it, it's still not right for dry tyres. Zombie head is in. What does Zombie head do? Mm. Oh, Alonzo's in. Alonzo's in. We made in. a mistake. Zombie for dry tyres. Yeah, yellow flag, that point. sector one. That's Rebster. He's these Rebs has fallen in a lap down. Where's Alonso? Where's he going go to go to? Bringing his time out of the drop. Tries for Alonso. 
Yeah, I think they might have to call it just right. It's not. It's still not. It's still not. Look at the threat. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is. I shut my mouth. But on top notch, he called it. Right, so all in for dry tyres now. Zombie head is the one. Don't think. How much advantage is he going to get? He was. He was third, wasn't he? Yeah. Webster's gone wide. It's allowing everyone to go through. He needs a safety guard now because he's a lap down. That's of it. Um, Brave container head. stayed out. Oh, fish sticks. What's happening with fish sticks? He's, he's disqualified. Blocking the pit lane. Virtual safety car. Oh. As he had a spin turn one and then didn't get going, and then it, the game disqualified him. But Not too more sure. importantly, container, container stayed out top notch. Yeah, I think that's going to hurt. And with the virtual yeah. safety car, Button's gone on softs, Eagle's on softs. Yeah, everyone else behind the pitting. Yeah, this is definitely going to hurt. Oh, right, but... Zombie Head. This is bad for Zombie Head, actually. Because he was going to get a good advantage, staying in third. Yeah, Eagle's jumped him. Eagle's in third. Is anybody else going to jump him? Um, I'm not sure, no. He's no, lost a fourth lot of thing. To Eagles. You lost a ton of time. Yeah, that's a slow game. Interesting tyre strategy, left. though. Because you were blocking the pit lane fish sticks. Because uh, I presume you were waiting for to get back on the track or something, and you waited too long and you were in front of the pit lane. That's what it said on my screen, anyway. DRS is enabled. Right, back, back underway. Yeah, Brave is now going to be really suffering, but he is 34 seconds in front of Button. I think Brave is going to lose the lead. I don't know. I mean, he's losing a ton of time, isn't he? No time Man, in the pits. In the pit lane. It's all right. all right. Let's keep an eye on Button. He's still quite a way behind. This will be close. This is going to be really close. They're going to come out next to each other. Oh, on. yellow flag set to one. Oh, Locker's gone. Jay Locker's gone. Locker, who was yeah, oh, he's having a difficult one. race. Yeah. Here's Button. Oh, it's still really tricky. It's still really damp. And now Contain's going to keep the lead, and he's on me he's on medium tyres. So this, and there's and there you could see him. Two seconds. So Button, it's Button different. can still do this. But Button's on soft. Oh, big oh. slide! It's still damp. White, dry yet? Yeah. I watch it. Eagles off. As well, they're all struggling. It is dry, but so you still got to be very careful, I think. Oh, Locker. When is when is Locker going to get the luck? When is he? And we're down to 11 drivers in all this. Right. Interval. Listen, change. Tim Murray police is so far. Orphan up eight as well. Tim has had a very, very solid race. Eagle up seven as well. They'll feel Button can still win this. He's got to get those tyres up to working working range. Start closing down container. I know. Yeah, stick. Lap slowly. down. Kazzy's had an off. Oh yeah, Kazzy's had an off, big off. Oh, he's put wing damage. 
He's got wind damage as well. I had to suddenly Bottom realize that. The um, fastest lap. Trying to close it down. I suddenly realized, um, top notch for the championship. Kazi's ninth, Tim and Ike is sixth. Big points for Tim and Ike. Yeah, good work from the racing point. Tim and Ike with the fastest lap, 137.5. Nice work. Timmons Only problem Tim for the back. Rear end of him. Oh, yeah, Tim and Ike could still gain places. He's got to watch his tyre wear though, because I don't know how long he's last for on a changing track. It's about, it's about seven, eight laps. Okay, oh, big, big twitch from Tim up. So, this is all Tim and I, see if we can get the good exit. Here we go. Oh, he gets a snap when he didn't want it. We're going to have the run, and I reckon if he can keep behind Timmer. With these next few corners, he can have it on a hanger straight. Got to get Magnus and Beckett's correctly. Get the good run. See we go. Just keep behind the gearbox. Good. He's got so much more grip than Timmer. Ah, oh, here we go. Put it into overtake. DRS. Fifth place for you. Here we go. Up in the inside. And it should be done. It is container fastest lap button goes uh four temp only four temps quicker so he's going quicker but not a lot and he's got a time penalty m9 fastest lap meantime 35 they're still in the 35s so they're still like good four or five seconds off the pace as they would do normally Uh, top notch. Yeah, overcome all from up nine places. Good work from him. Uh, can you do right. penalties? Roberts is asking. Yep. Have a look. Please. Lap 20. I think it would really depend whether Container has one. I don't know whether he does. He has no two button has one. He's got... Brave Container ah. has two warnings. Button has two penalties. Oh, two, no. Eagle? Eagle has two warnings. Tim and Ike has two warnings. Tim Knight's up to Zombie. fourth. Zombie Head has one penalty and two warnings. Tim is clean, not even a warning. Oh, nice. Five second penalty for Louder, so I don't know if that's served. Alonso Box has. Is catching Louder. Alonso's going to have an overtake on Louder. The front line speed! Nice move from Alonso. Louder's on softs and Alonso's on mediums. Louder has a 5 second time him. penalty, but I don't know if that's served. Mm. Overcome Orphan has one penalty. And then Kazi Babe is one warning. Right, so in terms... In terms of the lead, unfortunately, Button is well. Unless he catches Container and gains six seconds, he's not going to get the win. No. Nope. The Renault's come off. Tim is looking at the back oh, of zombie stick. head. Digs off. Turn one and two. The safety car would have been interesting. But nothing. Right, so yeah. Looks like Timonik is the fastest on track at the moment. Oh, what a, what a run by Timmer. Through old turn one, couldn't have um, couldn't have the room to exploit it though. It stays behind Zombie Head. Yeah, it lost quite a bit of time there. Let's stick is just waiting for one more retirement possibly to get points. Is a minute behind his teammate Kazi, who's in tenth place, not having a good race himself.
Kimonike is flying. Absolutely flying. He's actually catching Eagle by like a second a lap. But I, I don't think he's going to have enough time to catch him. There he is. 8.3 behind Eagle at the moment. If only he was closer. Would have been interesting. In terms of the championship though, I think Tim Knight will be very happy with this if it all stays like this. Although Kazzy is catching Orphan. But then Kazzy's got 46 seconds to louder. I don't think he's going to catch that. So, what, if two points at best? Nine. Yeah. Two points at best, so that's that's a ten point gain for uh, Tim and Ike. That'll put him. Uh, he was he was seventeen behind, so he will go within seven points of Kazzy. unless Kazzy gets the fastest lap, and then it'll be eight points. Yeah, I think uh, also Tim and Zombie Head might have something to say about that because. Uh, Soft tyres might just be going off by then, and these mediums are going to be feeling better and better. Mm -hmm. and Tim as are, but looks like he's getting closer and closer to the back of Zombie Head. And like yeah. I said, Kazzy closest Bates battle at the moment. Closing to overcome off him. Bit by bit. Hmm. Button has six. Seconds, you say. Just checking back to... Yeah, he's safe to Tim and Ike at the moment, his button. And in fact, the charge that Tim and Ike's had, it started to ease off a bit as Kazzy has got past Orphan. Meantime, so Kazzy is into ninth place. So at least he gets an extra point there. I believe Kazzy Babes has the fastest lap as well, not too sure, but I did see that at one point, so he might get an extra point for that. Yeah, he does. 31 threes. Fastest by any mile. Timmer, Timmer again, still on the back of Zombie. Old one. Turn one. Very nice. If he can just get the exit out of here, he can have a good run on him. He's a lot closer that than even. last time. Doesn't have a lot of VRS. He's an overtake, he's going full out attack here. Oh, outside. Alright. No, not close enough. Gonna go for the switch back. He's, <laughs> he's got barely any RS left. He wants this position. He's lunging it. Zombie head giving him the room. Oh, no. Still though, he's gotta say he's gotta save the RS for a lap or so. Yeah, Timmer seems to be the more stable car at the moment. Yeah, it just a bit needs wide. to line up one corner with an exit, get the better exit. I think he might have done it. DRS. Here we go. What sides are going to pick? Be a lunge. It is. He's still not close enough. Meanwhile, up at the front, Button is Blows and actually caught container. to. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just keeping an eye on the gap from him to Eagle. He's actually extending it. If he can keep that up, he might get enough over Eagle to keep second. Yeah, very true. I think that's what he's hoping for. Get DRS maybe on container, or maybe overtake him, and try and get the gap on Eagle because he's not winning, but he might be able to get second. Alonso, meantime, is actually catching Timmer and Zombie Head for fifth. Yeah, he so sure don't is. count Alonso up for fifth place. I'm not sure if the oh Timmer. Yeah, Alonso has six. Manelli into the back. Timmer is clean. Oh, Stig, no. Stig's gone. Magnus Beckett sees into the wall, I think. It's a shame, so we're down to 10. 
See if I can see him. <clears throat> there he is. Just on the right hand side. Yeah, zombie head's going to be the one now. under pressure for the last All Timmer. lap and a half. Timmer's Two got cars. to get past zombie head, but he's got to get Should past zombie get head. Past but in the meantime, has got the gap to Eagle to five seconds. He's got to find nine tenths more in this last lap. Well, Timmer hasn't, Tim hasn't got a walk. Well, he's got one warning now. Hasn't actually got to get past Zombie Head. Just got to stick behind him. Oh, because Zombie has penalties. Yep. Uh, what about Alonso though? Alonso's got six seconds, so Alonso want to get going. Oh, okay. He'd want to catch Zombie Head then, because they're even. Yep. Then we can actually let Alonso through, really. And he'd pass the pair of them. We got to talk about driver of the day, and well, in terms of position gain, it's really a toss-up between Timmer and Eagle for me. Both up seven, and I think by the looks of it, I don't think Button's going to get enough of a gap for Eagle. So Eagle will get second from where would that be? Tenth? Yeah, tenth. That would be a great drive. Eagle, do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Show out overcome Orphan as well, up eight places into the points. He, he sticks around, bless him. Always sticks around, yeah, no matter what. Think right after that, all saw itself out. Pass up on Eagles, up from 10th. Well, I've got to keep on board with Brave Container. Because as soon as you got past Button on the first lap as a brave move into the first corner on the first lap, he is pinning control through safety cars and virtual safety cars. And he's coming around the final corner now to take the British Grand Prix and win in F5 and fastest up to boot. Whether he keeps that will be a question. Eagle, the gap was 5.7, but he takes second place by two tenths in the end over Button. Button still gets third. Tim and Ike in fourth place. Good for his championship challenge. Zombie head fifth. Timmer is going to get a fifth, I think. Yeah, he is with zombie head sixth. Alonso seventh. Louder in the Ferrari. Is he going to get eighth? Or he just by a tenth behind Alonso. And then the last two, Kazi and Orphan. Kazi, well, tough race for Kazi in terms of his. Championship, but he's still going to keep the lead of the championship going into next week Germany. Uh, but he said, he said damage, damage limitation is at least he's got two points out of it. Yeah, for sure. Scoring points, that's, that's the main thing for these front runners in the championship. Down around the last two corners there. I think from my massive career, is he going to get fastest lap? Oh, he does. Oh, 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 that point. could be crucial. That could be very crucial. I'm actually get that by. 30.4. Three tenths in the end. Over container. So, three points for Kazi. Puts him on 121. Timmer will be on 113. So, there'll be eight points between them going into, going into Germany. But Eagle will, would have catched up on the pair of them as well, so he will he's not out of it either. Is Eagle. But Braver. Very good race. Control from the start, really. As he got by. Right, run us through the top 10 there, top notch. Um, Brave Container in first position, RSF1 Eagle in second, RSF1 Button in third, Tim Monique in fourth position, Timmer in fifth, Zombie Head in sixth, RSF1 Alonso in seventh, RSF1 Louder in eighth, K 
Kelly babes in ninth for the fastest lap, and then overcome Orphan in tenth position. Um, get these in. Yeah, and the retirees in the end: Blitzstick, J Locker, Rebster, Virus, Alban, and Cameron. Also from Butler and Fistix, unfortunately got disqualified, uh, blocking the pit lane after an incident. Fortunate there, but there we are. Good race in the end. Right, do we have everyone? We do not. We're missing an eagle button. We're missing button. Why is button not here? There he is. Yeah, he's had his invite, mate. A couple. I've sent him one as well. There we are. Yeah. There he is. Uh, and he, oh, he's gone again. Try it again, top notch. Give him one yep. more go. That is invite me. Hopefully, you can join. Staying offline for me, so it might have. Uh... Yeah, unfortunately, might not be able to get to him, but we'll, we'll go with go with what we have for the moment. Um, Xbox just shut down. Okay. Um, if you want to jump back on, but and if not, no worries. But uh, no problem. Um, yes, so if I do. Eagle, do you do container? Yeah, it's fine by me, mate. If you can tick your boxes, please, lad. Yeah, please tick the box so everyone can hear you. Um, Eagle, um, very good uh, second place from yourself. Obviously, gained second from Button on uh, penalties. Only just in the end. I think it was about a couple of tenths. So, quite close. Um, did you know that it was um, that close over the line? Yeah, I did, yeah. But I was on two warnings, so I was trying not to push too hard because obviously I didn't want to get three second penalties, so then I'd have had no chance of overtaking. Oh, sorry. Hiccups there. Um, yeah, so obviously difficult conditions breaks in um, obviously intermediate start. It was difficult to kind of transition onto, you know, the dry tyres. Um, when was the right time, etc. But you did uh, call it right. Um, kept in that podium podium position, and in terms of your championship, that's obviously very good for you because it puts you kind of in the in the ballpark now. Still plenty of time to go. You gain points on hit points on Kazi and a few on uh, Tim and Ike as well. So you're in the championship hunt, which is I presume you're very happy with that. Yeah, that's all good, but I want the win. That's two seconds in a row now. I've had a few other podiums, but it's just taking that next step, I think. Seems to as be long as you're consistent, that's, as long as you're consistent, that's all you need to do, really. Wins. Yeah. Wins are good, up, but it's... I keep messing up yeah. the qualifying. That's my main problem. I keep messing up the qualifying, so I'm starting too far back. But never mind. Oh, yeah, because you, you, you were in 10th, weren't you? So... Uh, was, is that where you expected to be? Do you expect it to be higher or was it just just got called out? No, I expected to be in the top three really in qualifying, but on my last lap I invalidated it and I didn't have enough fuel to go again, so Ooh. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch, been there. Been there loads of times. <laughs> um uh, what do you think going into Germany next time out? Obviously different type of track. Um yeah. might be down two track limits again, that infamous turn one. Uh, what's your thoughts yeah. going ahead for that? I like I like Germany as long as it's dry. If it's wet, I absolutely hate the place. Oh. 
well, don't do a rain dance then. No, I won't be. All right. Um, yeah, well done on your second place. Thank you. And uh, moving on to Top Notch, who will talk with the winner. Thanks, Brundle. Uh, good job there, mate. And uh, on to Braver. So, Braver, good mate. Blood. How you doing? Good race there from I'm yourself. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You have it all your own way in qualifying. Uh, you know, a bit of struggling from everyone in qualifying, and you uh, ended up qualifying second. Good, good show there. And then really just uh, dominated. How, how do you think it went, mate? Well, um, into turn one, uh, lap one, I thought it was going to be a bit risky. Um, with a long, with um button into turn one because he's got the outside so he could easily like cut me off but um i got the better start so I took advantage of that and then just tried to get my strategy right but the virtual safety car didn't help but other than that all right yeah that was a good good race mate uh dominating uh Cheers. how do you feel about uh going on on into Germany, different different track, like Brundle said, different layout. Yeah, feel? Um, I feel a bit more confident. Um, just stop it, same again, really. No penalties, keeping the car under control. Yeah, seems alright, really. But like um, they said, turn one's going to be trickiest with warnings and track limits. That sure is. <clears throat> I know myself, I've done a lot of practicing with you lately. I know you're trying yeah. hard, so... Yeah, it's good, good to see. I have one thing to say. Results from it, on it, and a... Speed. <laughs> I am speed. You read my mind. <laughs> I wanted to say that and all. <laughs> no, good job, mate. That's good, that's good yeah, to see it paying it? off. Wouldn't have been able to oh. race if you want for you messaging me. Because I forgot how we're racing tonight. Maybe oh, that's my lucky charm. Job, mate. Join late. Not going to intend on doing it though. Caused a bit of havoc. <laughs> well, yeah, good race for it, so that's worth waiting. Uh, Cheers. Yeah, pass it back to Brundle. Yes. Um, yes. Thank you very. Uh, thank you very much. Obviously, well done to Brave Container on your on your win, and I forgot. Thanks. That uh, both of you drive for half, so obviously that was going to be a, a conversation of yeah, well done, mate. Yeah, good teams, good, good points for the team. Uh, yeah, that was that was a good race. Um, thank you once again for uh, stepping in uh, there, top notch. Um, no problem, mate. It's a pleasure. F five didn't let us yes. down. Yeah, good, good race, good intriguing race. Um, yeah, good stuff. But of course, as I said, they'll be back for this track, the German Grand Prix Van Hockenheim Ring. Um, <clears throat> let's see who can uh, take control as the championship moves forward. Uh, but we've got one more track around Silverstone, and that is the F three division, where Verstappen and Alonso will take you through. But it was sure to be an entertaining race if they if you know what those two do every time there's a straight um you know the same they have um so they will take you through um the action eight o'clock once again tomorrow and then obviously we have the podcast this weekend to cover it all and then the first german grand prix will be the f2 division on the sunday so join us all for that if you can so Thank you once again. I've been Orissa from Bundle. Uh, your top three today is uh, Orissa from Button in third in the Alpha, second Orissa from the Eagle in the McLaren. We're driver of the day, by the way, Eagle. Forgot to mention that, so congratulations. And the win, Brave Container in the house. So, from everyone here, take care, keep safe once again, and uh, see you to next time. Yeah, bye all.